We help women transform their lives. We rebuild and enhance their bodies. Help them overcome lifelong obstacles. And drive them to reach beyond themselves. Our program begins now. Good evening, panel of experts. Our first competitor tonight is Jennifer Patton, a 30-year-old mother of three, struggling with the scars of her past. Jennifer, out of thousands of women, you've been chosen to be a swan. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Patton, and I live in Mesa, Arizona. When I was six years old, my life was devastated by a house fire. I'm not sure where my mom was. I just know that she wasn't there with me where I think she should have been. I feel responsible. I cry a lot still about it because I feel it was my fault. If she hadn't left me, I wouldn't be this way. Kids would call me Scarface, fire starter, chicken skin. I cried a lot. After the fire, she became withdrawn. It upset her quite a bit, didn't want to go back to school. The scars caused me to be shy, so shy that I didn't go after, you know, all my dreams. Being around my family, I actually feel normal. But if we go out, then I feel more self-conscious because I know there's other people around. Because she feels that she doesn't belong in this world a little, and it makes me feel upset. Well, I never leave my kids alone or with a sitter. I'd feel that maybe the house will catch on fire. The reason she's with them all the time is because she doesn't know what else to do. She doesn't have friends that she can do, go do things with. The doctors can't take away my scars, but maybe they can fix them so they won't look as bad. Just getting like my nose and my smile fixed, even those two things would totally change how I feel about myself. When I look in the mirror, I see a lot of things that I don't like the stretch marks on my stomach, the cellulite. I don't like my body, period. I think that the swan can empower her to be more self-confident. She has a lot to share with people, and right now she only shares it here. I just really want this. I want to feel good about myself for once in my life. Her story makes me so sad. I mean, she's obviously very, very scarred emotionally and physically. Dr. Hayward, is it possible to erase scars like that? It is almost impossible to eradicate these scars completely, but with some dermabrasion, I can improve them. And in terms of her facial features, her nose needs to undergo a classic reduction. She needs a brow lift, as well as some lip enhancement. I think then we can just focus in on her body. Liposuction, she'll just need a simple breast lift, and she does need a tummy tuck. And her teeth, Dr. Worth, she said that would be a huge difference. What can you do with her teeth? She will need a full mouth of veneers. And I think that once her smile is transformed, you won't notice those scars. I think you'll look at her and see a beautiful face with a beautiful smile. And speaking of scarring, obviously the emotional scarring, Dr. Yanni. For her to already have come so far is just a testimony to her will and her spirit. I just want to help her heal from the trauma. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, definitely. Let's review her plan then. For her face, Jennifer will have a nose job, lip augmentation, fat transfer to her cheeks, and dermabrasion of the scars on her face and neck. For her body, she'll have breast augmentation, liposuction in four different areas, and a tummy tuck to help remove scarred skin on her abdomen. Jennifer's dental transformation will include extensive tooth reconstruction, zoom bleaching, veneers, and cleaning. For her fitness transformation, Jennifer will be put on a 1,200 calorie day diet and spend two hours a day at the gym. To help Jennifer confront the emotional scars from her traumatic house fire, she will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. Jennifer is taking her first step towards her new self. Jennifer has an interesting look. At times she really, really looks beautiful. And you can almost see her beauty coming out. Nice to meet you, Dr. Hayworth. Her eyes tell stories. We've got a lot of experience and sadness in them. I see that you've had some major scarring, obviously, from a burn of some sort. House fire when I was six. House fire when you were six. I think we're going to just dermabrade this, which is a sander. Apart from that, you're nose deviates towards your right. What we want to do is to take out your hump, make the nose smaller. Now let's look at your tummy. What I want to do is take out all this extra scarred abdominal skin. The most frustrating aspect with Jennifer's transformation will be her scars. 
She's going to have a huge improvement, but it will not be absolutely perfect. Jennifer has learned the limits of her surgery. The day of surgery has finally arrived and Jennifer is ready to begin her physical transformation. The biggest challenges today are improving Jennifer's scars and also changing her nose. These are going to be the key surgical changes that are going to make Jennifer pageant ready. Good morning. I'm just so excited because I know when I wake up, I will no longer have this nose. Boy, your nose is really pointing to the side. And we make every effort possible to straighten it and a little bit of the dermabrasion in and around your scars. And then tummy tuck. You're a very beautiful girl. You can almost see it popping out at certain angles. It's going to be great. OK? You excited? I'm going to first of all start off with her tummy tuck. By cutting out all the loose skin at the same time, I'm going to cut out all the burn scars from her abdomen. I am preparing the sites to be dermabraded, especially around her neck. So I'm going to help polish some of these unsightly scars. Now I'm trying to do the nose job on her. This rhinoplasty is going to play a pivotal role in terms of her facial transformation. We lowered the hump here, we refined the tip and raised up her septum. After a long, arduous case, I am thoroughly satisfied with the result. And I hope that Jennifer is too. How do you think you're going to place in this one? Number one? A good attitude goes a long way, but the road ahead won't be easy. Oh my god, you're going to be one of the prime contenders for this pageant. Are you excited? Yeah. Despite the black and blue and the sort of unsightly appearance, everything came together better than I expected. Hopefully with the dermabrasion, Jennifer's scars will heal nicely, but only time will tell. I'm kind of scared, but I'm trusting everybody that I look good. Jennifer's recovery is moving forward, but emotionally she's taken a step back. Since she arrived, Jennifer's been fighting the battle of missing her family. Have you mailed me anything? Um, I'm mailing you a card tonight. I'm like, man, why isn't anybody here not writing? I've been here a month, you know? you. I know. I love you, Colin. I really miss my kids, and I really miss my husband. It's really hard. It's tearing me apart. Jennifer's loneliness could hinder her transformation. Will she be able to focus on herself and not her family? Meanwhile, our swan coach is checking in on Kim. It seems she's having problems sticking to the program. I'm a little concerned that you're not letting the professionals do what they need to do. It started with the nutritionist. Dr. Yanni told me that you're having some issues in therapy. What gave her that idea? I need more information. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? No. Do you know how defensive you get whenever you hit a hot spot? I know that you probably think I'm defensive. This is a trust issue, and this is about really believing that these experts are here to help you and letting them help you. I've also heard you've been complaining in the gym. That's totally not true. I don't complain at the gym. I honestly don't. I'm working out in a freaking girdle. That's not cool. Be more. It must be very painful to walk through the world having to fight everybody. <laughs> I'm just tired of being misunderstood, Nellie. I'm sick of it. Why do you feel misunderstood? Because people are seeing me as something I'm not, and it's pissing me off. Kim has a strong will that's helped her get through some tough times, but she has to realize that others can help if she'll only let them. Meanwhile, Jennifer is having an emotional setback of her own. Jennifer's mother left her alone in a house fire, and she's got a lot of unresolved anger that I'm helping her work through. I tell myself I forgive her. Have you given yourself permission to get angry with her? I guess I'm too nice. I want Jennifer to release that anger towards her mother through a role play. What you did to me wasn't okay. You shouldn't have left me. Jennifer is making progress in therapy and has taken the first steps towards restoring her self-esteem. Now our swan coach is stopping by to offer Jennifer a helping hand. You've expressed that you were really a little gun-shy about going out on stage. Am I right? 
if I go to the pageant, I don't want my friends or family or anybody to say, oh my God, look at all her scars. These scars are preventing you from living life. I don't want to live that life anymore, and that's why I'm here. I don't want to be insecure and shy, so. I don't think it's that you're shy. You know what I think? You're hiding. And it's time to not hide anymore. You have to wear your scars like jewels. Why do you cry when I say that to you? Because I know you're right. Now it's up to Jennifer. She'll have to face her fears before she can move on to the pageant. Next on The Swan. It's Jennifer's turn to face the mirror. You won't believe her amazing transformation. I'm speechless. When the swan continues. We just saw Kimberly's big reveal. Now, will she advance to the swan pageant? Let's meet her competition, Jennifer Patton. Experts, Jennifer came to us with scars, both physical and emotional. Dr. Hayworth, what were your goals with Jennifer? Well, my goals with Jennifer were twofold. Number one, I wanted to improve upon her disfiguring burn scars. And number two, I wanted to improve her nose, brow, and lip appearance so that it would give her a sort of essentially exotic look. And Dr. Yanni, we know that she had a lot of issues from her childhood. Mm -hmm. What did she accomplish in therapy? Jennifer had some really difficult emotional and physical traumas that she had to work through in therapy. She tackled the issues head on, learned how to confront people, express her feelings, and she's not hiding anymore, she's shining. Well, we'll unveil the new Jennifer in just a few moments, but first I want to show you the Jennifer that we met three months ago. When I was six years old, my life was devastated by a house fire. Kids would call me Scarface, fire starter, chicken skin. I cried a lot. It feels that she doesn't belong in this world a little, and it makes me feel upset. I don't like my body, period. Just getting like my nose and my smile fixed, even those two things would totally change how I feel about myself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the brand new Jennifer Patton. Come with me. <laughs> Jennifer, I can safely say that for the first time in a very long time, I'm speechless. You look absolutely out of this world incredible. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm excited. It broke my heart when I heard your daughter say that you thought that you didn't belong in this world and that made her sad. If she was here right now, what would you tell her about the new mom? Just that I I don't have to hide anymore. I can't wait, you know, just to go somewhere with them, not hide. Well, Jennifer, you know that time has come because behind that curtain over there, there's a mirror. Now, I'm gonna ask you to step up to the curtain and let me know when you're ready to see the new you. Are you nervous? Yeah. Take a few deep breaths. Okay, Jennifer, this is it. Are you ready? Yes.
speechless. <laughs> I told oh you God. you would be. I don't like anything. Oh. <laughs> You're shaking up a little. It's yourself. <laughs> Do you believe it? No. Oh. It's not like anything like I even imagined. It's the favorite part of your transformation. My teeth. My teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and my nose. Well, you know what? There's a couple of people behind you that just want to say a huge big congratulations to you. I was so immensely satisfied with the way everything came out. Not only did she come out great, she came out spectacular. Oh, sweet. Jennifer reminds me of a phoenix rising from the ashes, walking through that fire and just flying. Coming up on The Swan. Only one of you can move on to the pageant. You've seen the transformations. I'm speechless. Oh, look how little I am. Now find out who will be the one to move on to the pageant. <gasps> this envelope contains the name of the woman who will advance onto the pageant. Next on The Swan. Welcome back to The Swan. Now, it's been a night of dramatic reveals. Now we'll find out who our judges, in consultation with our experts, have chosen to go to The Swan pageant. Will it be Jennifer or will it be Kimberly? Before we bring them out, let's take one final look at their transformations. Jennifer started out anxious to heal the physical scars that have caused a lifetime of emotional pain. Her journey wasn't easy, but she faced her fears and emerged a new woman. Kimberly came with the hopes of restoring her youthful figure. Early on, she struggled with the program, but overcame her resistance and embraced her transformation. And here they are now. Gentlemen. Okay, the time has come. First of all, congratulations because you've both made such incredible transformations. You should be proud of yourself. But only one of you can move on to the pageant with a chance to be crowned the Swan. Now, along with that title comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But you've been evaluated on beauty, on poise, and of course, overall transformation. This envelope contains the name of the woman who will advance onto the pageant. Okay. Good luck to you both. Tonight, the woman that will move onto the pageant is... Jennifer Patton. Congratulations. Jennifer made it to the pageant, I think, because of how committed she was to doing all the work that she could do. She rose to every challenge. Jennifer made it to the pageant because she worked super hard. I mean, from someone who was hiding to someone who's come out of her shell. I mean, she deserves all the credit in the world. Can you please stand over there for me while I say goodbye to Kimberly? Oh. Tell me about this whole journey for you. What's it been like? It's been remarkable. It's been a great ride, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, Kimberly, before we say goodbye to you, mm -hmm. there's one very special person who's uh, extremely anxious to see you tonight. Okay. okay. It's mm -hmm. been three long months, but it's time. So okay. come over here with me. Gentlemen. <laughs> so beautiful. Kimberly looked more beautiful than what I imagined. Uh, she looked like a dream. Oh, I'm so cute. Gorgeous. Thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
She looks like, yeah, like a movie star. Yeah. Oh, look at these hats! <laughs> I've done a lot of emotional and physical changing since I've been here. I've come to grips with a lot of things in my past that may have been hurting me, and I think that was just, you know, something that was definitely needed. You miss me? I miss you too. Congratulations, Jennifer. Come here. Oh, you must be so proud of yourself. What do you think your husband's going to think? I don't know. He's going <laughs> to like it, though. I yeah. can just imagine. Well, you know what? The next time we see you, we'll be up on stage at the pageant. So get ready, okay? Well, next week, the transformations continue as two more women compete for a spot in the most unique beauty pageant ever devised. Who will be named the Swan? If you want to be on the Swan,